A fair no part in the fair clause? He said! Wait a minute, I'll go check. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you go. In that case, what do you have? All right, good. He says, all yeah. I got right now is this box of one dozen of starving crazed weasels. I said, okay, I'll take that. So he has me the box, and I open up the lid, and the weasels jump out, and they immediately laugh at my face and start biting me all over. <laughs> oh, man, they were just going nuts. They were tearing me apart. You know, I think it was just about that time that a little ditty started going through my head. I believe it went a little something like this. I ran out to the street with these flesh-eating weasels all over my face, waving my arms all around, just running, running, running like a constipated wiener dog. And as luck would have it, that's exactly when I ran into the girl of my dreams. Her name was Zelda. She was a calligraphy enthusiast with a slight overbite and hair the color of strange peaches. I'll never forget the very first thing she ever said to me. She said, hey, you got weasels on your face. That's when I knew it was true love. We were inseparable after that. Oh, we ate together. We bathed together. We even shared the same piece of mint-flavored dental floss. The world was our burrito. So we got married and we bought us a house and two adorable children, the Daniel and Superfly. So we were so very, very, very happy. Oh, yeah. But then one fateful night, Zelda said to me, she said, Sweetie Pumpkin, Honey Muffin, Sugar Pickle, do you want to join the Columbia Record Club? getting a lot of attitude. Okay, like one time, I was out in the parking lot trying to remove my excess earwax with a golf pencil, when I see this guy Marty trying to carry a big old soap up the stairs all by himself. So I say to him, I say, hey, you want me to help you with that? And Marty, he just rolls his eyes and goes, no, I want you to cut off my arms and legs with a chainsaw. So I did. And then he gets all indignant on me. He's like, hey man, I was just being sarcastic. Well, that's just great. How was I supposed to know that? Not a mind reader for crying out loud. Besides, now he's got a really cute nickname. Torso Boy. So what's he complaining about? Say, that reminds me of another amusing anecdote. This guy comes up to me on the street and he tells me he hasn't had a bite in three days. <laughs> well, I knew what he meant, but just to be funny, <laughs> I take a big bite out of his jugular vein and he's yelling and screaming and bleeding all over my life.